Stay with us, Lord. Today, the church present us with the testimony of Luke's account of the journey of the two disciples to Amors, a village that is seven miles from Jerusalem. As the two young men went back to Amors in despair and disappointment that Jesus, their political Messiah, has been killed and their hopes shattered. They encountered the risen Jesus on the road, but they didn't recognize him. He tried to make them understand what the scripture says about the Messiah, but they did not still understand until Jesus revealed himself to them at the breaking of the bread. The story of the journey of the two men to Amors is the journey of our life. When we meet with tribulations that leads us, toadspear and hopelessness, that all we think of is to go back to our old way of life when we have lost hope in God. But the joy of this story is that Jesus anticipated them on the road of hopelessness and would not allow them go back to their old way of life of hopelessness. Our first encounter with Jesus fills us with hope and light that dispels the darkness and the shadow of despair and hopelessness in our lives. But at certain moments of life's difficulty, we feel the absence of God. In such moments, Jesus is always there to walk with us and shield the light of hope that God has not abandoned us. From the first reading, the story of the man at the beautiful gate that experienced the healing power of the risen Lord could be likened to humanity that is crippled in faith and going through a Moore's experience in need of the power of the risen Lord. May we encounter and recognize the risen Christ on our Amor's journey, that is, moment of life's difficulties, through the scripture and the sacrament of the Eucharist. Amen.